Hello there, Ethan here, and today we're playing The Director's Disorder, which is a horror game that came up fairly recently. Um, very good reviews on Steam, so as always, I thought I'd give it a go. So let's get into it. I don't really know anything about it other than it's got good reviews, so let's have a look. It was nice of Nana to let me stay at her place for a few days, so I can have some time alone to think. I just need to wait for things to cool down. So I can go home again. What have I done? Good old Nana. Should I look around the house first? Yeah, let's look around the house first. Just a, just a lovely little garden. I think I just trod on all the vegetables. Oh. Hello. Good boy. Letter from Grandma. <laughs> How can I ever forget? That was the summer Mom was traveling for work, so I had to stay here. The key should be in the shed then. Hope you had a safe drive from California, honey. You remember where you broke your wrist or you saved the... When you stayed with us all those years ago. I left the key there. P.S. Thanks for watching Ace for me. The dog scored Ace. Nice. V. That's a horrible key for a lighter. Okay. I'll just open this window and break in. Ace. Guess not. Okay. Shed. Where's the shed? Ah, down the creepy, creepy road. Lovely. It's too early into this game to be getting me with loud noises. Nobody hurt me. I only just got here. Ace! Hey, buddy. Ah, uh, boy. Is it good to see you? Good boy. I should probably look for that chore list she mentioned. It should be on the table, I think. Chore list? just happened to it. Oh. That's nice. Coal. Are you asking for coal and honey or are you calling me honey? Is my name Cole? What's going on? Okay. Make sure you finish everything on this before you go to sleep. I know you must be tired after the drive but you mustn't forget these chores. Ace needs to be fed. His food is on the counter in the kitchen so all you need to do is put some in his bowl and set it on the floor. Bring some of the firewood from the shed to the... I've just been to the shed, and it's scary out there. To the fireplace inside the house. It's been getting really cold at night. I don't want you to freeze, sweetie. Your mother's candle needs to be lit. I'm sure it'll make her happy to see you came for Eva after all this time. But most importantly, eat. I left some of your favourite food on the table. You must be hungry, so eat up. Nana. We haven't left anything on this table. I don't want this window open anymore. I'll leave the radio on. Hello. Hello. Good boy. Okay, so nice little bathroom in here. Good boy. Okay, so. Oh, okay. Um, um, dog bowl. Need to check on mom's memorial behind the house. I think the 
candles might oh, need to be relit. Oh, that's what that was. Okay. Um, what order do we want to do this in? Is this window open? Bloody Nora. I thought you want to get invaded. Okay. Close this one as well. Let me close the window. Yes, that's better. You know what, we will turn that off. Let's go let's go to the scary place first, get that out of the way. Where's the firewood? Oh. Oh for God's sake. Protect me, won't you, boy? Who's in my truck? Probably shouldn't keep leaving the door open, but you know. What are you going to do? Is that a candle? I miss you every day, Mom. Rest in peace. Now there's werewolves, lovely. Do I want to hang the keys up? I don't want to hang the keys up by the window that can be opened. Ah, this cooking can't be beat. Where's my boy? Ah, oh, my boy. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Let's cuddle up. No, my boy. Ace? Why is... Why is the old lady got... That? Oh, God. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, the... W Didn't I say? Didn't I say? Don't leave it at the window. With, it can be opened. You, you get away. Smiley faces, lovely. It, 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 it's okay, it's, it's okay. I've got a lighter. I will set anything on fire. A knife? Even better. Oh shit, I've got a bad feeling about this. Okay, lighter goes away. Flashlight comes out. There's a train coming for me now? Great reaction. I've, I've got a bad feeling about it. Yeah, me too. Can I equip the knife? Wait, is a knife from in here? Did they steal my knife? Don't put the knife down. Shit, a duffel bag. Can't leave that out in the rain. <sighs> Let me pick this knife back up. You're making terrible choices if your name is Cole. I don't know what it is. Cole's a stupid name if it's your name. And someone stole my bag. Didn't I leave it here? Weird. Guess I'll check the shed next. You are not reacting to this how you should be reacting to this. Ah, oh, my duffel bag's gone. Oh, someone's put a drawing of the shed. I guess it's there. Huh. No! Get the knife! Start stabbing! If anything happens to this dog, I swear to God. I'll just take this to the bedroom for now. Oh, I'm moving slower with this. Run. Drop it! Oh my God! Don't tell what to do! right in my ear and I dislike that very much. <laughs> Wait, where's my dog? 
I should take a nice long hop okay. back for the rain is the death of me. Go. I'm not stressed. That door was open. Nana, help. What? What? Why are you so calm, man whose name might be Cole? I'm still unsure. Hello? Someone's used the toilet. Someone's pissed in my toilet. That lid was down because I looked at it. Someone's come in. They've stabbed my fence. They've moved my duffel bag and they've pissed in my toilet. None of those things are okay. And they've got the house keys. Oh, okay. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. Whoever you are. Cut. Oh, lovely. Let's just pretend that. Like Ace! Fuck! My dog, no! I didn't leave the door open. You're, this guy, he deserves to die. He's thick as shit. Twice as sloppy. Boy! Hurt this dog and I will go stab him again, aren't you? Can I, can I not take this now? Was there another drawer in there? Yeah, let's take that. Why not? Boy! Have you gone to the creepy shed or the garden? I'm going to check the garden first because I don't like walking to the creepy shed because people talk in my ear holes. What is it Little now? shit. Got me worried. Don't go running off like that. Come on, buddy. Come on, boy. Stop running away. Just casually. Oh, I must have left the door open. Oh, I guess I'll just go back to sleep. Oh, nothing weird's happened. You keep me safe when you're boy. I would not be sleeping. He stole my duffel bag again. Just leave me alone, please. A uh, package. I'm just gonna light all the candles because I'm curious. Okay, I can't light that one. I'm curious if it does anything. That candle's gone. Wind's picking up. I should move Nana's wash bins to the shed. No, you shouldn't. Oh, this window's open again. <sighs> this guy. Yeah, let's move our wash bins to the to the shed. What's a wash bin? I don't know what a wash bin is. Is it inside the house? Is it where you put your washing? Surely it's outside if it needs to be moved to the shed. Stay here, boy. Wash bin. What is a wash bin? Excuse me. Okay, so it's just a little bucket. So I'm looking for a little bucket. There, okay. Three times. Don't hurt me. I 
Wow. Everything's okay. At this point, who cares if the bloody buckets are outside? Literally no comment on the crow that's just fallen out of the sky. That would have probably been very nonchalant. Oh, a bird's just fallen out of the sky. How weird. This time. We good? We happy that Nana's buckets are safe? Huh. Was this open before? No, it wasn't. What's wrong with you? Okay, at least the dog's safe. Yeah, sure, let's take this. Hello? Hello? Anyone there? Hello, Cole. My name I'll is Cole. Here. I hope it wasn't too uncomfortable for you. It has been a few years since you visited your old family Why home. Why is my name Cole? I've, I know the name Cole is in C-O-L-E, but spelt Cole as in Cole, is that a thing? Uh, anyway. Who is this? director of your next film. Cole, I've got a role for you to fill, and I know you're hankering for some work. <laughs> well, I have been told I, I look like a model. I'm not desperate enough to work with someone pulling some shady shit like this. If you want to work together, drop the Psycho Stalker Act and contact my agent. Oh, wait, I'm an actor. Goodbye. Okay. <laughs> I wouldn't be so fast to turn me down, Cole. Hear me out at least. How much does it pay? <laughs> no. Now leave me the hell alone, or I'm gonna call the police. And you still don't think anything weird's happening here? The radio's gone! Or it, is that the radio that was there? No? I don't want to be in your film, unless it pays lots of money, in which case, yes, I will be in your film. But I've got a feeling it's a snuff film. Yeah, let's just get back to sleep. <laughs> Nothing weird's going on, let's just get back to sleep. Mace? <sighs> oh, he's been in my room while I was sleeping. Lovely. Oh, that's why she's got that. I guess that's me. Oh, I'm Cole Westwood. Of course. Is that like if I won some sort of Oscar? Oh, I'm a big deal. Okay. Let's just throw some weight around. Wait, where's my keys? What the fuck? Didn't I put them in the holder? Okay. It's a good job this guy is an actor because he's th too thick to do any other job. Was that tile missing before? Has he stolen my tile? Have you taken my tiles? <sighs> Hello? Ace? Have you stolen my dog? What the hell man? did you do with my dog? Christ, now, that got aggressive. Now, don't get saucy. Little Ace isn't dead yet. Don't you hurt my dog. Where is he? I've got him right here with me. And if you want to see him again, you'll play along. 
Now, I was generous enough to do this out of the kindness of my heart, but it looks like you need some extra motivation. Follow my instructions, and you'll get Widow Ace back. <sighs> what do you need me to do? That's more like it, Cole. You're going to help me gather footage for a film. Something that'll really blow the socks off our viewers. How about we start off with something simple to ease into it, huh? For this scene, I'd like for you to go behind your house and pick up the present I left for you. With it, you're going to vandalize your mother's favorite tree. I know the relationship with your mother wasn't the greatest while she was alive, so why not take this chance to blow off some steam and show them your true feelings? Fine. Okay. Just don't hurt Ace, please. Why, Cole? That depends on you holding your end of the bargain. Oh, and obviously don't try to contact the police. You wouldn't want to see me upset, would you? Now, let's get to work, shall we? Okay. I'm not above vandalizing the tree. How do I... How do I vandalize the tree? Is, it, is there a button? Am I missing something? Because I've got my torch out? What's, what's, what's going on? Alright, that's a light up. I got my spray paint. Oh, I've paused it. How do I get my spray paint out? I, d I don't know how to do this. I want to vandalize a tree, I promise. Oh, I can zoom. No. I don't know how to spray the tree. Have we got an inventory or anything? No. I'm trying, I promise. <laughs> oh. I needed this. Okay. Now how do I vandalize the tree? There we go. Vandalize. Vandalize. I'm so sorry, Mom. Haha. <laughs> sorry. I'm getting my dog back. I want to be in the house before I call him, just in case. It's done. Now give me back my dog. What? That wasn't the deal. Now where's Ace? Quiet! If you don't shut up and do as you're told, the dog will die and you will join it soon after. <sighs> What's next? That's the spirit. Now, I want you to grab that duffel bag you brought home with you. I know it's in the duffel go. bag, Cole. All the money you stole from your charity. And you thought to bring it here with you? So no, that's what I did. Cold. I'm a piece Not of shit. Nice. What the hell was I supposed to do with it? It's not like I could take it to the bank. Cool. Listen, I'm not here to question your life choices. That's for your fans and the police. What you're going to do is get rid of the evidence. Burn every last dollar in that bag. Okay. Can I ring the police? No, I can't ring the police. No wonder you didn't want to leave it out in the rain. You, you pulled up my floorboards. 
Maybe he did steal my bathroom tile. What a dick. Okay. Yeah, let's burn the money. All that work down the fucking drain. All that work stealing from a charity. I burned it all. I don't know how this is going to help me, though. It won't, Nimrod. But it does make for good Nimrod. Points. You'll be viewed as this compassionate, regretful man seeking to make amends for his past crimes. Probably. I don't know. I don't really know. I'm not people. Okay. Better not end up with me in a prison cell. All right, Cole. Next scene. Do you remember when you were filming your last movie? Your stunt double had an accident on set because you were too hungover to act. Now, I would have liked to have had you recreate okay, that so this took a turn. But we don't have time or resources for it. So instead, I'm going to have you take a knife and cut off your own finger. Simple enough, right? What? No! That accident was his fault, not mine. He was supposed to be a fucking professional. Blah, blah, blah. I'm Cole Westwood. I'm too hungover to do my job. You want to see your dog again, Cole? Do the scene. If not, well then who's to say what'll happen next? Don't hurt my dog. I love my dog. Well, guess I'm cutting off a finger. Bye bye. Oh, fuck! Fuck! Oh, gosh! <laughs> gosh. It's done, you fucking psychopath! Holy shit! Which finger did I cut off? Holy shit, Cole, you crazy motherfucker, you good shit! That is going to be a killer movie when we're done. Ooh, it's going to be a worse for the both of us. That stack of cash in my head. Oh, it looks like he cut wait. off his second we finger. He didn't specify the finger. He should have done a little finger. What did I do to deserve this? Stole from charity. Hello? I want to get that on some I ice. left you a present in the back of your truck. Bring it in and set it up, would you? <sighs> What's he want this time? I mean, weirdly, it's got less scary now. I'm just talking to the guy who's doing it. It, it was worse before. He's, he's just gonna let me kill myself, isn't he? There. It? It's already. Good. Now, here's the fun part. You're going to sit in front of that camera and confess Maybe all not. of the horrible things you've done. Well, maybe he will. Who knows? That's the fun of this. Maybe it'll end with suicide, you know? <laughs> I haven't done anything wrong, damn it. Shut up, sit down, confess, or be punished. I'm not hearing any confessing. Fine! Fuck! Yeah, let's confess. Why not? Confess my first sin. What uh, did I do? Let's see. I hadn't visited my mom in years. Before she died, I mean. She kept inviting me up for Thanksgiving or Christmas, but there's always something else. I wonder why she didn't just come and visit me. I mean, why should I have to be the one who has to drive six and a half hours upstate just to see her? I had more important things to do. Things that were actually worth my time. She should have tried harder, not me. Yeah, this guy's a dick. I stole money from my charity. Tens of thousands of dollars. The money was supposed to go to those kids, and I just took it from them. I just don't feel bad about I making more. his finger off or anything. I did. Now. The bank was going to repossess my cars. I, I couldn't let that happen. 
That dude doesn't pay what he used to. And yeah, I cheated on her. My wife. Ever since our son was born, she's just been horrible. Inside and out. Always needing things and bitching about this or that. God forbid a woman needs something. Ugh, I hate it when that happens. So when her sister came on to me... <laughs> oh, it's her sister. I was nice. just trading him for the younger model. That's all. She'll get over it. She always does. Yeah. How many sins have you got? Yeah, I happened to be drunk on set that day. So what? Is it my fault that dumbass had to take my place for the stunt? My fault he didn't stand on the right fucking spot and lost his arm? <laughs> He should have been more careful. Some professional he was. He didn't deserve that payout the company gave him for his troubles, either. Hell, if anything, it should have gone to me for making us waste a day of filming. Yeah, there. This done. Guy, I'm, Happy I'm now? on the director's side. And you're not done yet. Cool. What did you think this was? What? That's it. All of my confessions. There's nothing else to say. Don't lie to me. I know, I know what happened on that road. Had a few too many drinks, did you? Thought even with all those martinis, I could still drive home. You really thought you'd be fine? You couldn't. That's impossible. There was no one else there. Well, you just admitted to it. I... I killed a man. That's it. Keep going. I was on my way home from a party. I'd been drinking all night. And he just... He came out of nowhere. I stopped and checked on him, but he, he wasn't breathing. So I... I got back in my car and I left. I didn't want to leave him. I swear. I, but I couldn't help him. He was in pieces, scattered across the fucking road. Oh, so how fast did you... So how hard home. did you hit him? How fast were you going? And, and the next day, I called my Nana, and I asked if I could stay at her place for a while. And so, you came here to hide from the world. To hide from everything you've done. You're a coward, Cole. Through and through. Yeah? Shut up. Correct. Can I have my dog back now? At least as if you kill me, leave the dog alone. Our time together today, Cole. All good things must come to an end. So this is it? After all this, I'll finally be free? you will let me go? Of course. Simply Just finish the last scene and I'll be out of your Jesus hair Christ. for good. Just admit it to committing I murder. Alright. Yeah, it's gonna be so kill nice. myself. Okay. Tell me what it is you want, so I can be done with you and with all of this. Fine, jeez. Don't get your panties in a twist. Last scene is a simple, easy one. Burn down your grandmother's cabin. What? Come on, Cole. Don't play dumb. I know you heard me. You're going to burn down your Nana's house, burn it to the ground, and walk away from the life you knew. Why? She doesn't deserve to be homeless. Leave her out of this. Oh, She's got insurance, oh, she'll be fine. Oh, you lied, cheated, stolen, and even killed your way through life. Maybe not if it's arson, actually. thought it wouldn't come back to fight you? What makes you so special? But that was me, not her. Punish me. Nah, you're going to get what's coming to you one way or another. But I don't think that's enough. Bad energy you got going on, it's gotta go somewhere, you know? Burn it down, Cole. Haven't you walked away from enough? Okay. Sorry, Nana. 
burning. It's all burning down. What have I done? Hey, my boy. You're okay, buddy. Come on. Let's go home. It's time for me to atone for everything I've done. Don't just go home. Find your nan. Tell her, tell her what happened. Cole Westwood returned to his California home and turned himself into the police. After a short trial with four confessions from the defendant, Cole was sentenced to 10 years in prison for his crimes. His victims were able to find peace in the knowledge that justice had been served. Cole himself came to terms with the crimes he had committed and devoted his life to making the world a better place after he was released from prison. Soon after, a mysterious film depicting the strange events that took place at the Westwood family cabin began circulating the internet. Eventually, any and all, and I didn't read the last few words. <laughs> Hopefully you read it faster than me. <laughs> Sorry about that. I mean, I really enjoyed that. I'm, I'm pretty sure from what I read, this is uh, just the first episode in what I assume will be a series, so excited for any more that come out. Um, yeah, really enjoyed it. It was really creepy to start with, then it turned a bit menacing. And nice little story. Hope you enjoyed it too. And uh, yeah, see you later.